Hey everyone, welcome back. More Super Auto Pets. It does feel like I record video once a week at this point, to be honest. Um, are we getting the tutorial? That's kind of weird. I guess it's because we're on the test service as a guest. Um, right, I like this setup. I'm going to try and avoid the Kiwi for now. I really wanted something that was going to help a little bit here. But now I just think we need somebody that's got some kind of decent stats. I might just put him at the front. Um... Let's let's just get a baby duck. Okay, let's try this. Right, I uh, I'm concerned here. Let's go for the the hard balls. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, uh, we're against the suspicious warriors. Pretty sus. I, I think we win this. To be fair. Oh, I forgot I have to change this. There goes the seahorse. Settings are horrendously loud because I guess they change every time. Okay, that's a, that's a win though. That's a nice win to start. I do like you. But I don't think I want to use you. You know, actually, let's reroll. Another duck. You sell both of those. Oh my god. A baby duck. Okay, here's what I want. Now, obviously, I'm going to try to drag that to there. I'm so dumb. If we sell both of these. Gives the my the rightmost shop plus one plus one rightmost shop pets. So that's the kiwi. So we could get the kiwi to four four here, but he's a sell pet, so I don't really want to do that. And then we'd be yeah okay. I'm just gonna leave it for now. Oh, I'm definitely gonna freeze these little iguanas though. Oh my god, check it out everyone. <laughs> iguanas for days. Iguanas for days, fam. I got iguanas for days. <laughs> Look at them. That was kind of weird. Right, let's go seahorse. <laughs> seahorse is kind of hard, you know. Oh, nice. Uh, well, yeah, we lose. That guy's got free attack. Okay. So we could have had that same free and free kiwi, to be honest. And I uh, didn't go through with it, so that kind of sucks. Right, iguanas. Let's at least get a level two one. Give unfrozen shot pets. Oh, that's when we roll. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to buy you for now. I'm going to re-roll once. There's another seahorse. Honestly, I really want to get like koala and then I want to get a, uh, is it a yak? But we just can't do it yet. We haven't really got a lot. Oh, I should have sold those dudes and buffed the iguana. Right, let's remember to sell those because they're really bad. Those little ducks. We need to move on from those. Yeah, the, but we are going to lose the next few rounds, I think, just because of the poor setup. I did say I was going to stop using the seahorse thing, but we kind of just started with the seahorse thing, so... Okay, that was an expected loss, though, so that's, that's fine. We're going to come back from this. Um, I don't want any of those. There's the yak. I, I want the yak. So we're going to sell that baby duck. We're going to sell another baby duck. We're going to get the yak. It does deal two damage to itself, which I'm not really a, a huge fan of. Um, now, what I'd really like is actually a koala. Um... Oh, look at that. So, friend behind her gain plus one, plus one. So, basically, this guy's going to deal two damage now when I clicked end turn, and this guy's going to get buffed because of it. So, do we just want to keep... Do we want to buff the yak? Like, this gets HP up there so he doesn't die. Is that the strat? Is it even a strat? Because the car only gets plus one, plus one as a level one. Okay, this is going to be a stinker already, I can tell it. Oh my god, look at this woodpecker though. That woodpecker kills everybody on our team. Like... <laughs> wow, okay. Wow. Alright, not the best start here. Down to f five lives already. So two losses and we're going to be out. Right, there's another yak. We'll take it. And another koala. We're then going to give HP to the yak. We're going to re-roll... Nothing good here. I'm going to freeze the peach because obviously I just want to keep giving it to the yak, you know. Keep keep giving him some HP. Really want a level 2 koala though because that buff doesn't seem strong enough. We could put like a cucumber on him as well actually to help with the HP scaling. Maybe that's what you do to the yak. Put a cucumber on him. Although he's still, he's still going to out-damage the scaling that the cucumber offers, I feel like. Oh, this works really well because they keep pushing things back behind the koala and they get damaged and then... He gets buffed in battle too. Okay. 
Well, there's our level 2 seahorse, everybody. That probably wasn't necessarily needed. Reroll once. God damn it. Nothing decent. Push first. And see, this guy's 3 and 5. So what I'm thinking is... We could just, like... Put him on the board. He's a little bit higher unit. He's got a, maybe not a better ability than the iguanas. Because obviously there was two iguanas at the time. But it could help a little bit maybe. I mean it will help the iguanas do more damage as well. Because there will be more people getting pushed. And the iguana obviously attacks whenever someone gets pushed. Although he does only deal two damage. Yeah, we just traded koalas. Oh my god what's going on. Okay this looks nice. It actually looks really nice. Oh, wait, did that just... Oh, no, it pushed the donkey. I was like, did that just attack the donkey? It pushed it. Okay. Um, let's get a donkey again. Do I want to give this guy minus two and plus four? I don't think I do. There's our level two koala, though. Gain plus two, plus two. That's nice. Deal 100% attack damage to a random enemy and itself. All right, I want the peach for the yak, obviously. Although he does seem to be... Keeping his HP. Oh my god, there's a level 3 iguana. This one, two level 1 ants. Gain plus 1 and plus 1. Okay, we're going to get a, give a cucumber. Oh my god. Yeah, we don't need any more iguanas after that one. So, do we put the scaling on the yak or the koala? I feel like the, the yak, right? Just keep him alive for as long as he possibly can so the koala can keep getting buffed. I'm not exactly sure how. Oh, that's not very nice. We've just been killed. Okay, lots of pushing going on. Our koala dies immediately. Our yak, yeah, we don't win. Oh my god, actually, we draw. You know, I'll take a draw there. Like, I'll genuinely take a draw there. Okay, we can work on this. The iguana is very weak. Oh my god, two more koalas. Right. Let's get the level 3 iguana first. We're going to give you cucumber. And I'm also going to feed you. And then I'm going to freeze the two koalas. We're going to re-roll. There's another iguana that we don't need. The yak is going to want a peach. I can sense it. Yeah, he only gets one HP back. So we do need to keep buying food for him as well. The cucumber will just limit it a little bit, I guess. And he should technically scale a bit. If we're giving him like two HP plus cucumber HP, which is free, and then he only loses two. Oh, we lose. Yeah. God damn it. God damn it, dude. This guy's got all like tier one pets as well. Not tier one, but low tier. Well, we can definitely get these two. Gonna re-roll once. Oh my god, there's two yaks. Do I want to see what it does? Deal two damage to itself two times. He's gonna die. How do I keep this guy alive? With peaches, I guess. End turn, give plus one, plus one to one pet behind. Multiply buff with the lowest pet tier in the shop. Oh my god, that seems insane. Oh, with the lowest, so it'd be plus one, plus one times one, because we've got a... A pill bug. Okay, that seems really good. Because it could help scale this guy, but then this guy wouldn't get the buff, would he? Okay. Uh, I mean, we've got two peaches saved up. Well, we definitely is going to need to heal, isn't he, on the next turn. At least our koala is get, kind of getting wham now. All right, our koala's getting plus four, plus four a turn. And he's almost level three as well. So it could be like plus, plus six a turn soon. Oh, wow. Yeah, we stink. Look at the size of their koala compared to ours. Now our koala dies. Now we've got nobody strong enough to kill their koala. Oh my god, it's a draw. Oh my god, we're still in this. We're still in this. Let's go. Okay, do I even want to buy another yak? It's like I just want to buy peaches at this point. I'm going to keep you frozen. I'm going to re-roll once. Hey, I feel like once again, I've stuck with the seahorse too long. Like this combo is working well, but I think everything else is kind of bad. But I also feel like it's... Uh, it's too late to change anything, you know. Health does not go under one. Removed after taking damage. Oh my god. Would that not just keep him... Oh, he repeats two times. We'll take damage, then we'll get rid of that. So that's not going to work, right? Right. Gives three random pets plus two attack. That'll do. Right, this guy is really letting me down. I feel like he probably needs to move from the front, but at the same time... I feel like we just need to swap him out when we get a chance, you know? All the kind of focus is on the koala, but I don't think we're, we're strong enough to to win this with this team. <laughs> the rest of the team sucks. Oh, I want the orangutan. Don't do double damage, please. Okay, what we got? 
polar bear. Oh, the lion kills him. Uh oh. Oh my god, we win. Oh my god, we won. <laughs> Fully didn't expect to win there. That's four trophies. Okay, okay. Foxes. Steal a random shop food. Health and attack effects are multiplied by two. That's the end of the turn. We're still a random shop food. I, j I do. Like, we can keep you for a bit because we've got the donkey. So let's get rid of you. Deal one damage to the pet ahead and gain plus one health. That would deal extra damage, wouldn't it? So it's going to... This guy's going to... Oh, my God. For, does this... I feel like this doesn't work. I'm going to re-roll a bit. Okay, there's another one of those. I don't think I want more of these. I definitely want a peach. You're going to gain one health. I kind of just want you because you're going to deal more damage to it, which then in turn buffs the koala. Let's, you know, we've got a level two there lined up. Oh my god, there's the orangutan as well. Oh my god. Okay, I definitely lose this next turn, by the way. Yeah, nice. That means the koala. Yes, look at this. Oh my god. Come on. The hard balls versus the iconic fishes. Oh, he's got a big team. No. We've got no one to push that little fish back now. That sucks. That really sucks. I really thought we had something great. I really thought we had something great. Maybe we should have kept the seahorse at the front so we could have pushed that big enemy back. Oh. Oh, yeah, we're not logged in. That really scared me for a second then. I thought like our account had been banned or something. We don't have an account on the test server though, of course. Right, I don't like any of these, dude, but I will take the hummingbird. Oh, my God. I'm going to freeze this. I'm going to re-roll. And then a hummingbird. I really don't want to take iguanas, but right now it's kind of like the only... Wait, if we turn you into a strawberry friend, would they? No, they wouldn't. No? It's only at the start of battle they get the, the buff. It's not a permanent buff, so it doesn't matter who we really put on the board. Give plus two and plus two. I'm trying to think, is it worth putting a strawberry on one of those? Then we have a four and four and a two and two. Is that stronger than three pets? I don't think so. I'm not going to freeze the iguanas because I really don't want to go that route again. Um, yeah, let's go for the leaking geezers, geysers. However you want to say it. <laughs> you geezer. Okay, let's go. Come on, hummingbirds. We haven't got the strawberry on yet, of course, but we have frozen it. Oh, this is looking good looking like a win to start let's go thank you very much everyone that's our first trophy of the run oh let's give me another seahorse honestly we're gonna buy this we're gonna sell this it means it buffs the seahorse we're gonna purchase the seahorse and we're not gonna buy a fifth pet we're instead gonna give the seahorse the strawberry the seahorse now gets plus four because we've got two hummingbirds so plus four plus four at the start of the turn turns them into a seven and eight seahorse Right, spicy, I know. And then I might... Oh, I'm not going to freeze anything. We're about to tear up, aren't we? Let's just give this a go. We've still got an iguana. I said I'm not going to go the seahorse iguana route, but it's kind of the only thing that the game's given me, apart from hummingbirds. And, like, cell pets. I don't really want any cell pets. Oh, they've also buffed their seahorse, but ours is bigger. Hang on. This looks very even, can I just say? <laughs> yeah. Almost identical teams, I feel like. Apart from our seahorse, I'd like one HP more. Probably from the duck sale, actually. If we sell you, you're going to buff a random strawberry friend. Check that out, everyone. I'm going to re-roll those, try and find a pet to go there. Oh, my God. I just keep throwing them my way. Look at this. I'm not going to sell you yet. You can stay around for this turn. We'll sell you next turn. How exciting. Oh my god. Okay, big rat. Oh, no match. No match for our seahorse. Oh, they got a weak team. The suspicious housewives. Do be kind of sus, though. But they also do be kind of stinky. They're lost. Get wrecked, scrubs. Um, I don't want that. So we can sell you. Let's sell you now. Let's buy another hummingbird. Obviously, we're going to want to merge these guys together, I think, relatively soon. Um, I'm going to re-roll and just try and, like... I really like this gun, the koala. I might purchase one of these. He's four and six to start, so he's not even that bad. There's a seahorse. Is there a way we can get rid of you? 
like in this in the shop turn because we could like get rid of you and that would permanently buff him but it's not like sleeping pill maybe you'd need to use like a leech loads of times to kill kill the seagull or the dove or whatever it is and then it would buff the strawberry friend Ooh, they, oh they've got the bow so i think the bow if i can remember correctly the, the developer did a live stream with his mother and he mentioned then that he made the bow purely for his mum. So she has like a one of one hat. Similar to Northern Lion in his little egg hat. Which I believe you can actually, uh, you can use right in this. Okay, we're going to get the Castle Worry. Castle Worry. Yeah, because he's going to start scaling slowly. Okay. I really want to get the Yak, but we haven't seen any uh, Koalas yet. If I just buy a seahorse. And I'm going to merge these guys as well. I know that might kind of suck a little bit, but. This is now the strat. You're going to go next, I think. And then the seahorse. If we get a koala, the koala will replace the iguana. Okay. Oh, that's that's a very healthy seahorse. They just. Oh, they've turned. Oh my God. They've turned the seahorse. That's how you play the game. You turn this to you use the ones that reduce attack and give health. On a tank. Oh, we still draw this, which is fine. Oh my god. And then... Oh, yeah. Because the panda dies and gives all gives all his attack. That's how you scale quickly, I guess. Although you do lose a pet by doing that. Well, let's get a second cassowary. Let's get a... God knows how many hummingbirds. I'm seeing the cucumber here, and I'm thinking we could... We could scale this guy up with it, or we could help, like, protect the yak a little bit. I'm going to freeze this and then re-roll in case we find a koala, which we do. So now it's the iguana's turn to go. Now, the sad thing is here is that this guy's 8 and 13, so I want him to stay. Which now you're probably thinking, well, why would you get rid of the iguana? The iguana stinks, it does like one damage. But we could put the leech on again behind the yak. You know? We could, couldn't we? Do I want to look at this? I don't think I do. I think I'm going to stay with what I've got for now. We've got almost a level 3 hummingbird and a seahorse that is okay stat-wise. Maybe once our koala gets up to that point, we can think about it. Or should I make... I feel like I should make the change really early. Make the koala a strawberry friend as well. Oh, wait. Is it any friend behind? Oh, my God. Does the koala get buffed if it's any friend behind takes the hit? Not just... A friend. Yes, yeah, friends behind. It could be anybody. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, we're changing things massively now. So, I'm going to have to apologize for this. Um... What do I want to get rid of? I, I, I want to get rid of you, and I want to add an orangutan. But the problem is, is, this guy's weak already. I don't have any peaches. Yes, we can put a cucumber on him. I feel like the orangutan is more important right now than anything else. Like this, These guys are really weak. Okay, we're going to get rid of the yak. We're going to get an orangutan, because he seems genuinely very useful. And I want him to scale as well. Oh, I don't know anymore. We've now this needs to go basically, I think. Friends behind get here. So you should be at the front, but then that kind of doesn't really Because everyone's gonna get pushed around. Oh, I don't know anymore, dude. More strawberry friends. That would help you if you were level two. And the hummingbird wouldn't guarantee. Oh, I really don't know. We could put these on instead of the koala. Let's not freeze anything. Let's just go into the next turn. Okay, the cassowary is scaling. He's got the cucumber. He's got the strawberry buff. Obviously, if he's level 2, he can get buffed by two strawberry friends. So, we might need to look into that. Oh, okay. Oh, they've made him weak. That sucks. He does get two kills, though. They made our orangutan weak. That also sucks. Okay. This is looking like a very easy win, actually. I was about to say a draw. Okay, that's five trophies. Um, Cassowary number two. Yeah, up to two. Okay, start of turn. Give a random frozen shot pet plus three plus three. So if we freeze a pet at the end. End turn, give two other strawberry pets plus one plus one. So we need two strawberry pets for this guy to be scaling. 
right. But then he doesn't scale. That's the problem, I guess. Also, who are we going to make scale? I guess we make this guy a strawberry pet because then he will always buff the seahorse. This guy will then get buffed plus two plus two. This guy will then buff both of these. So now front three scale. Oh my god, both of these are going to get the plus three plus three treatment as well from the polar bear. I'm now going to give a cucumber to the orangutan because he's got no scaling at all. But, although, will he buff himself? He does buff himself. Okay, that's nice to see actually. Okay, this is exciting. Let's hope we can get a draw or a win here though. I don't really want to lose any health yet. Oh, that's a really big puffin. Does he get buffed? Oh no, he just does a lot of damage because he's got so many strawberry friends. God damn it. He's just been destroyed by a puffin. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we've still got seven lives though. We've got good things to build. I've got a good plan here. Oh, only one of these guys gets buffed. I'll give a random frozen pet. Okay. Well, that's fine. So let's get rid of you because you kind of suck now that I've realized you do that. So all we want now is the strawberry. Oh my god, more cassowaries. End turn, give other strawberry pets plus one plus one. So you're the same as this guy. But you give everyone, well not everyone's going to be a strawberry pet. So I'm happy enough with the pelican I think. Going to keep the cassowaries frozen. So I think this guy needs to move forward one. Okay, come on. Hopefully we can get level 2 orangutan, level 2 pelican, all that kind of stuff soon. Seahorse does stink, but he's, a, he's in a position where he needs to stay, basically. He's... Oh, that's a really big iguana. We're in trouble. Oh, we don't kill that. In fact, we do kill it, but then we don't kill anything else. Okay, so the seahorse does need to go. There's no permanent scaling on him, so I don't understand why I'm keeping him. It's because I'm scared now to add someone that's going to be a lot weaker. Right, we needed a strawberry, didn't we? Who do we want to scale? We could turn you into a strawberry pet. No, because then you won't get the buff. It's got to be you. Okay, so you get plus two, plus two. Nice. And plus one from the thing. Oh, this works well. Okay, that works well, but is it enough? Definitely need to move the hummingbird back a little bit. Hang on. What is this? Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. How did that work? If this is your highest tier pet, gain how much health? Dude, I thought lions, I didn't know lions worked like that. That's a strat though. Okay, let's move you back. You kind of stink now. Give two random pets plus four health. Absolutely. Okay. Komodo, give friends plus one plus one and then shuffle all positions. That does seem kind of fun. What do you do? If this is your highest tier pet, gain plus 50% attack and health. Okay, that's nice. I'm going to use a taco instead though. Uh, this guy's no longer the biggest, so he's gonna. Oh, I want him to. You know what? We're actually getting to a point where we can get rid of this guy real soon because he does suck. Like we should definitely get rid of this guy and put you on the board. Although you are two and eight. Give one plus one to one pet behind. Multiply buff with the lowest pet tier in the shop. So that would be just times one. But sometimes you might get lucky. And it might be like plus six. He's, he's got 19 HP though. We can't, I don't think. I don't think we can. We'll take, we'll freeze an orange for sure because it gives loads of HP, but... We should probably add a fortune cookie to people at the castle area as well. Does he need the cucumber scaling as much anymore? Probably not, you know? Oh God. That guy does like 100% of his attack straight away. Okay, he's killed our hummingbird straight away. Ooh. Actually, this doesn't look too bad. There are two ants that buff each other, luckily. Well, one buffs the other one. We still win this. Let's go. Let's go. Was not expecting that. That's a sixth trophy. Win-win. Okay. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Number three. So he can now get buffed a lot. Hurt and faint. So if he gets hurt, he gives friends plus two attack. If he faints, he gives friends plus two attack. That seems really good. We just can't fit it in the build today. What do I want? I want? Yeah, I was about to say, I want another strawberry friend. It's got to be you, but I like your scaling. Because you you will buff everyone else that isn't a strawberry friend. So yeah, let's do this. And then the carrot gives plus one, plus one. So we want to put that on the cassowary then. He gets plus three, plus three, and then plus one. But next turn, he's going to get plus four, plus four. So the plus three, plus four. If we can give him the carrot, of course. 
It's very exciting. Oh, that's a big seahorse. They're going to trade. No, the hummingbird does not. Wow. Right, the hummingbird doesn't buff him because he gives it to a random strawberry friend, not the front strawberry friend. That one really hurts. God damn it, dudes. Once again, I thought we were onto something. Okay. We got to use some different items, I think. Let's go straight back into arena. I do like this a lot, but I'm going to have... Oh, dude. I hate... They keep giving me seahorses. I don't want seahorses. Um, the delicious bagpipes, you know. Let's do it. Let's play some tunes on the bagpipes. Never actually seen bagpipes in real life, I don't think. Oh my god, here we go. See, yeah, he's, he's got guinea pigs. See, he's investing for the future. He's got the pill bug. That'll do. So we still win, but obviously we haven't got a good start. So let's start to think about what we actually want here. Now, I want the strawberry, but I don't want the frog, unfortunately. Oh, it's, it's Guys, I have no control over this. It is giving me more seahorses. Okay, I'm going to freeze you. I'm going to keep the strawberry frozen as well because we've got a hummingbird, which is now kind of pointless because we don't have anybody that's a strawberry pet for the hummingbird to buff. So it's kind of bad for this turn. This guy's basically just out seahorsed me as well, which has really upset me. Oh, and he's iguanas, so they deal damage. Oh, no. Yeah, we lose. Okay, that's fine. One win, one loss. That's, we can live with that. Let's get our level 2 seahorse. Let's get a clownfish nice and early, actually. I kind of want the clownfish to be the strawberry pet that gets the buff now instead. Don't hate me for that. I do want the yak as well. Get rid of the rat, maybe. Well, the rat's almost leveled up, so maybe get rid of the, the cockroach. He's got a yak as well, so what's he doing? Invested in pill bugs, I see. That's what I did in the last video, I think. Didn't really pay off too well for us. But there's our second win. See, I'm thinking if we keep the clownfish right, we're going to level up loads of pets over time. Like, including... Oh my god, there's a... Koala there. Right. Oh my god, should we do it nice and early? Get rid of the seahorse? Put you to the front? Well, actually, the koala to the front, I guess. Kind of makes me not want to put you at the front now, but... It's going to be an investment, right? We're going to freeze the cassowary because I want you. So we'll get rid of the mouse and put the cassowary on. Then we'll turn everyone into strawberry pets and we'll have a good time. Probably should have froze the peach for the yak as well, but... Okay, the scaling starts now because, of course, the yak's level 2, so he does damage twice. Although it is 2 damage each time, which is why I need to give him the peach, really. If we make him a strawberry pet and then give him scaling, he can definitely do some work. Now, we did invest for the future, I'd like to remind everyone, so we're going to lose. Oh, my God. How did you get that hat? I know you can get it in the like you can get any hat in the testing server, which is what we're on. But how do you get that one? Right, all of these need to be strawberry pets because this guy's about to come onto the board. So let's make sure you're a strawberry pet first. Let's sell the mouse. Can you give us a free strawberry, which kind of does need to go to the yak because he's going to try and kill himself. We're going to get another cassowary. We're going to freeze you and re-roll. There is another yak. There is another clownfish. And then of a hummingbird. Okay, so there's level two hummingbird next turn. I'm just gonna buy a yak for now. So we, need, we need to hit the clownfish before we buy the hummingbirds, okay? Because then obviously when the hummingbirds become level two, it buffs the clownfish, I think. What does it buff the hummingbird? I don't actually know what the clownfish ability is. It's something to do with leveling up. So that's, that's a trade at the start. That is no longer a trade. This is gonna hurt for a while, this build is, I think. Yeah. Okay, that's bad. What are we down to? Four lives, so two losses and we're out. Um, friend levels up, give it plus two, plus one. Yeah, okay, so we need to do this. Okay, obviously I want to give you... Oh, he's going to die. We're about to lose our yak. Well, that's not good. God damn it. That's really not good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Was too focused on upgrading the pointless hummingbird instead of our yak. Healing our yak. Oh, I'm sad. 
Yeah, we we've lost this mass like by my actually. No, we haven't. Okay. All we need is another yak and we can fix this. We'll get a koala. Let's unfreeze these. What do you do? Give friend behind. Yeah, I don't want that. Oh, what, what I really want right now is a yak. I'm gonna have to get someone else if I can't find a yak. There's a cassowary. I'll freeze you. I have to just put someone else on the board. Oh no. There isn't anyone else I can put on the board, really. I think this one's over, everyone. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, finding out synergies on this new pack is so hard. I'm just so bad at it. Need to watch some videos, I think. Yeah, they're yeah they've got a yak still, you see? They've got an orangutan. All we needed was scaling for the yak, and we were in business. Yeah, genuinely, though, we still win. <laughs> There's still hope. That's our fourth trophy. Okay, nice. There's a clownfish. Wait, do you buff yourself? You don't. Okay, I'm going to merge these together. I'm going to buy you. I'm going to sell you. I'm going to re-roll. Oh my god, a level two cassowary. We don't have two strawberries yet though, so what I'm going to do is buy you and then re-roll. No yak. Okay, that's fine. Let's put you up to there. Okay. I'm scared. I'm really scared. We need a yak. The koala's just sitting there pointlessly at the minute. Oh, that's a really big koala. See, they've... Oh, dude, everyone's got their scaling set up perfectly. Yeah. Big L. I mean, we saw that one come in. We've still got one life left, though, so there's, there is hope, but... That one's unfortunate. Okay. We can get a level two cassowary, but then like, what's the point, really? You haven't got two strawberry pets. Oh my god! Okay, you guys are gonna get merged back together. We're gonna buy a yak. Oh, dude, he's still not. He's still. He's, still, he's only level one this time, though. We still don't have anything. You know, to help us. Oh, why have I put the cassowary all the way at the back? He's 14 and 14. He needs to be at the front. I'm such an idiot. That's probably lost it. Every That's lost it all for us, that has. Okay, Koala. Will you even be able to trade with it? Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, it was a literal trade. This isn't looking too good now, is it? No. God damn it. We should have put the cassowary at the front. Right, that's fine. That is going to do for today, though. Um, look, we discovered... A lot of new things today. I think the koala yak think of it really well. If as long as we get scaling early, like, like lots of people had the the orangutan early and the pelican and stuff, so we can do it definitely. Um, but I also just didn't pay attention to it on that one turn. We could have gave it a peach, but instead I was so focused on upgrading a, a hummingbird, which I wasn't really using that much because it's only buffing a clownfish. Lots of things to improve on, uh, but obviously, you know, that's gonna that's gonna come with time, guys. I'm I'm a bad gamer. We all know that. So. Uh, let me know some... I'm sure actually loads of you have played it now because it's a test server that's available online. I need to put the link in the description. Oh my God, I forgot to do that before. Um, but go play it and let me know what teams worked for you because I don't think we've come close to a win yet. I think our favourite trophies is like seven trophies. So, yeah. I'll do for today, anybody. Anyway. I almost said anybody. That was kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, subscribe to the channel. You know, carry on doing the usual YouTube stuff. Stay tuned. We'll be back. But until that time, goodbye.